Hello everyone and welcome to VLSA for all. Today we have young and dynamic technical engineer, Mr. Himan Sir with us. He did his B.Tech in, in Electronics and Communication Engineering from CVR College of Engineering, Hyderabad. And after that, uh, uh, he enrolled in VLSA for all. And uh, now he's currently placed in uh, Mirafa Technology. And now as a, first of all, as an engineer training, but uh, after, after completing the internship, he will be posted as a design verification. Thank you, sir, for uh, joining and uh, sharing on knowledge to the audience. It means a lot. Sir, uh, starting from this, sir, can you introduce yourself to the audience and you can tell what course you joined for the in, in the VSA for all? Yes. Uh, my name is Hemant uh, and I'm from Hyderabad. Uh, I have done my undergraduation uh, specialized in electronics and communication from uh, CBR College of Engineering. Uh, I have placed in uh, uh, multiple companies, I mean, like uh, a couple of companies. One is uh, Proxilera and uh, another one is uh, Mirafra Technologies Private Limited. Uh, in the both uh, companies, I have been selected as a design verification. And uh, coming to, I mean, uh, before joining VLSA, if at all, actually, I, this was uh, referred my, by my one senior. And uh, I joined uh, as a premium uh, RTL plus uh, DB course uh, in VLSA for all in March first week and uh, till the, uh, now it, it's uh, four, four months and uh, now i got the offer uh, it was really helpful uh, uh, those videos and all sir how do you know about uh, you're not audible uh, am i audible yes yes uh, sir how do you know about the virus i uh, like how do you know yeah. uh, yeah can i tell uh, like uh, from my undergraduation uh, like Okay. Uh, actually, I have completed my undergraduation in 2021 itself. Uh, from then, uh, uh, at the time, I didn't have an opportunity uh, in my hand. Uh, I wanted, I mean, like, I am interested in both the embedded side as well as the VLSA industry. But uh, at the time of my graduation, I don't have any opportunity in my hand, uh, like, into the field of VLSA. But uh, I am looking my, like, long career uh, in VLSA industry. So at that time, I don't have, okay, I just left that and uh, I had an opportunity in a startup company. It's an electric vehicle based startup company called Persist Energy. Uh, there I have been worked as an embedded developer and uh, uh, wiring harness developer. So for there, I have been worked uh, six to seven months as an intern. A lot of exposure over there uh, during those six to seven months of uh, internship over there and later on uh, i decided to move to vlsa field then uh, at the time uh, i have been like uh, searching for many institutes like not only like e-learning platforms offline online i wanted to just uh, like uh, mention the all the institutes what are there what will be the fees what will be the course structure and all i have compared a lot of so and finally i uh, stick with one another uh, institute uh, i didn't uh, know about the vlsa for all until then uh, like uh, in february uh, i uh, got stick with another uh, institute i just finalized uh, with me itself but i didn't join them then i have been referred uh, this uh, vlsa for all uh, has been started uh, i think in November 2021, I think, I'm not sure, but uh, that's what uh, my senior suggested me, like, uh, have a look on uh, this institute also. So I just uh, gone through, like, uh, different uh, posts uh, in LinkedIn and all. Then I approached Rajit sir and uh, some of the connections through LinkedIn and uh, approached how the, uh, the course will be and all. I just wanted to get clarified. Uh, before I wanted to uh, enter any institute, I need to be clarified from my side so that uh, later on i won't be regret so uh, i have uh, some uh, like what will be the core structure and all i have some doubts so that's all i have been uh, uh, like uh, cleared those queries from some of the connections and then uh, from the other sir too uh, on call itself and then uh, in march first week i have joined uh, vlsa for all so i've been uh, like uh, going through different different uh, like courses uh, it was really helpful to practice uh, interviews. Okay, thank you for the summarizing narration. And sir, so what is the course? How the course work there, and and how much time you give to the course? Like, you can you uh, tell from uh, the starting of the course to the end of the course? 
yes uh, actually uh, i have joined a premium rtl plus uh, design verification course uh, in that uh, the for the first two weeks it will be like uh, digital electronics and uh, then followed by very log uh, and then followed by uh, projects then system very log uvm and protocols uh, protocols will be in the middle so this was actually uh, like summary and some more also included uh, like mini video uh, like uh, cdc lint and uh, edc and uh, interview puzzles and all so a lot were there actually so the so uh, that was uh, been categorized into 24 weeks uh, it will be like six months so uh, i started uh, in march first week uh, i started with digital electronics uh, then i have completed digital electronics first by uh, i didn't remember the surname but uh, how completed the digital electronics that was uh, quite good uh, it was very brief and if i had any doubts uh, uh, like within within a week itself uh, i'll be get clarified i'm like uh, for every week we'll uh, have a uh, two to three doubt sessions in a week uh, like rather sir will arrange that uh, in every week uh, twice or thrice if it's possible uh, and if we have any queries uh, then uh, it will be clarified by the some of the other uh, related uh, professor then uh, digitals after that i have been taught uh, very long and uh, very long projects banjali ma'am too those were very like uh, straight to the like what we want we we, we got that done and uh, then i have been shifted i um, mean like uh, after very long uh, uh, it was uh, some interview puzzles edc and then cdc lint concepts that was actually very good uh, uh, if you wanted to uh, uh, apply for any product based companies uh, those cdc lint and concepts were, uh, will not teach by most of the uh, institutes actually uh, up to me uh, my friends were also there in some other institutes like they won't teach uh, many of those things so the, those were really helpful and uh, uh, time allotment is like uh, i have been allocating like two to three hours a day that was really good i mean like i have been uh, have knowledge in uh, digital electronics and as well as in very log uh, from my graduation itself so i think it i don't know uh, for others also it it might be the same or not but uh, uh, i spent uh, like minimum two to two hours to three hours minimum a day so that uh, at the end of two months i have been completed what are the required uh, like uh, digital very log at least the prerequisites uh, apart from system very log and uvm uh, have been completed uh, in three months then i have attempted the proxy layer uh, in that uh, it was a uh, role for uh, design verification and as well as design uh, like uh, it's a combined role i have been attended for that as a fresher uh, like no not much prerequisites were there only digital and uh, very log was there so i have uh, gave just i wanted to like test myself and uh, if, we, if the company policies and all was good then i wanted to join that company so i attempted that uh, have gave uh, two technical interviews for that and one uh, hr round then in hr round they said like uh, i have been selected then later on uh, in, the, in the same path uh, have got the offer from the mirafra itself so i have gave the same uh, like for the almost the same role i mean like uh, it was uh, mainly into the uh, verification part but the design will also be there, but I'll be notified, I think, after the training period of six months uh, regarding that. Uh, uh, so I thought uh, comparing both, uh, I thought uh, the Mirafro was uh, good because their clients and all was really good comparatively. Uh, not only Proxilera by comparing, but a lot of companies were there. Uh, it was a very good company. So I chose that one. And uh, right now I'm here uh, in the training period of uh, Mirafro technologies. Thank you for complete narration, sir. Thank you. It means a lot, sir. Uh, so, what so would you recommend this uh, coaching VLSI for for the aspiring M Tech or B Tech students, sir? And if so, sir, then why, sir? Yes, definitely. I'll recommend. I recommend it to a lot of people. Uh, like uh, I said, like uh, initially, uh, have been uh, connected through some LinkedIn connections. So the same way, uh, many people have been uh, contacting me. Literally, like. 10 to 12 students i have been talked uh, like i have i have suggested well as well because uh, uh, like i said like uh, one of the institute which was i find like so uh, like the person who was at my stage i think uh, those points or uh, some points will be there so i thought those loopholes will be there in some other institutes like um, uh, one of the example is uh, 
uh, money factor i mean like uh, the course fee it was really huge when it compared to other other institutes so like just giving an example but uh, some other factors were also there so i thought uh, i said to many of the connections uh, that this was a scenario uh, it, it was comparatively really a good one and uh, i have suggested uh, like everyone and uh, if i oh, if i any of other uh, connections will also come comes to me and i'll definitely say because uh, factors are one finance I and mean, like uh, the fee two uh, course videos three uh, the online i'm mean, like uh, the videos will be not only live but recorded it it won't be there in much of the institutes like they'll just uh, wanted to attend the on, on live classes but uh, here it, we have an advantage that we might know i'm mean, like uh, some people will be there who wanted to work and uh, working who are working in the in a, some other domain and wanted to shift their domain to vlsa so for them it was uh, difficult to attend live classes so for them it was uh, really good uh, like whenever they get the time they will uh, train themselves and uh, they'll be having a good opportunity to, to shift uh, their domain so i'll definitely suggest okay sir thank you for complete narration sir thank you and sir we are at the end of this interview sir would you like to recommend a few motivational lines to the audience who is watching this video and who are currently in the in the processing stage like of pt final year or mtech first or second year like what should do and i mean any motivation tips you can give uh i can't say motivational because i was also a fresher but i can say one thing like uh, like we need to believe in uh, hard work i mean like smart work and hard work both will be like uh, like there will be some uh, saying like uh, you have to be smart uh, than to be hard worker but i believe that hard work will be uh, better than smart work i mean like not in all the cases but uh, the smart work will comes from then uh, from an experienced person so for that experience you need to get uh, work hard so uh, uh, work hard and then believe in yourself uh, like uh, never lose a hope you will definitely have a door to enter uh, in any other industry not only vlsi but any other industry so just uh, believe in uh, time that's it okay thank you sir thank you for doing this sir thank you